Okay. I want to ask you, do you know where hail came from? Hell? Hail, hail. Hell, uh, where it comes from? Uh, not I hail, mean, not hail, hail. Like the hail. ice. Oh, um, uh, just like the snowstorm kind of thing, right? Yeah, you yeah. Mean that? Yeah, the ice, yeah. like the ice, the ice, the ice uh, rain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where is it coming from? It's just, um, what's the English word? From uh, from the clouds, so to say. So it's, I don't know how to explain. Like it, it gets formed I, in the I clouds. Heard, and... I heard mm. that hail is coming from mountains in the sky where Allah, he break it and he throw it at us. Yeah, if you can show me. You know, I show you what? I'm just fabricating a story now. Okay. So what do you think if I say that? Is that like a good thing or... I don't think so, no. So you think it's a bad thing, a stupid thing, a smart thing? Give me a, give me a title. Describe me. Do I look stupid for you if I say so? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your honesty. I hope now you will not change your mind after two seconds. This is what the Quran says. Allah, look at what the Muslim they do to fix it. They say he sent how high uh, he sent from the sky hail like mountains. <laughs> when in the Quran it says, min min jibalin fiha. He sent down from the sky from mountains in it. From where? From mountains. So the God of Muhammad, he think that there's a flying mountains like the movie Avatar. And he break ice and he send it on us. Are you saying the Shahada? I heard you. Oh, no, no, no. I said just in Dutch, like, let me see. I just said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, not the Shahada. No. But can you show me the, the English uh, part? Yeah, I'm sorry, though. Okay. This is a false translation, by the way. I can show you the interpretation if you want. Uh, yeah, 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 please. Okay. Oh, this is already the interpretation. Oh, no, no, never mind. No, the Tafsir at tabari what it says there, you can show that. I will show you whatever you want. You will see that the Muslims, you know, through time, mm. they try to change the interpretation. So, like, if you, uh, because now we know that this is stupid, so what the Muslim they will do, they will change it. They will not say this is what it says. So, if we go right now and check, uh, let us see here. Because it's in Arabic, I will use Google. Let me use uh, Ibn Kathir in English. Is that better? Yeah, that's so good. All right. So we go to Ibn Kathir in uh, in Arabic. In English, sorry. Uh, chapter of An-Nur. I hope people are watching, they are learning. You know, and they, uh, they are taking notes. I advise people who they are watching later, you can download the video because, you know, it's full of reference. All right, verse number 43, 44, all right. So read with me what Ibn Kathir is saying. And that will, ex will, will expose the false translation they are showing us in the Muslim translation. وَيُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَادٍ And then he says, means that there are mountains of hail in the sky from which Allah sent down ice. Do you see it? Sent down ice? Yeah. And then he say, look what Ibn Kathir is saying, because some, they try to fix it, he said, as for those who say, mountain here used as a metaphor of a cloud, they think that the second min is also to describe place which is the eyes coming. And thus, it's, so he's refuting them, you know. Uh -huh. But the Arabic is so clear. Allah sent mountains. Allah sent from mountains from heaven. We can go to different interpretation. Chapter 24. Yeah, but it wouldn't make, like, the thing, if you take it literal... My friend, there's no other. The Quran, sense. the Quran. I mean, why? Uh, uh, you know, I find it very funny. It says uh, talking about something physical. It's not about spiritual, 
like somebody touch your heart. He's talking about rain and ice. And so what metaphor? Okay, what is the metaphorical of ice coming from mountains? Go ahead, give me. I have no idea. Man. Okay, so so this is, you know, got me. Okay, so he sent down from the heaven mountain where is hail. Do you see it? Yeah, um, let me see. Yeah, it's all literal. He means literal, yeah. So still you want to believe in Islam after all what I showed you? If you say that still you want to believe in Islam after what all what I showed you, I will ask Allah to send the mountain of hell in the top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? You made some good points, quite a lot of good points. Um, yeah, it's it's hard for me to just uh, denounce it right away. It, it's hard, man. It's hard. It's hard or it's easy. It's if it's wrong, it's, it's wrong. Hard. Who care about how hard it is? You know, I mean, hard is hard. Yeah. So, but is it is it better to leave such a stupid thing or so? Is it is it easier to stay in a following a stupid religion and stupid prophet? Is that easier? That will make you. But actually, that will make even more horrible because you, you know now that this is a stupid religion, and now you are saying to me it's hard to be smart. I choose to be stay stupid. Which one is more hard? To stay stupid, following a stupid man, claiming to be stupid is a smart prophet, or to be a smart man, not following a stupid man. Okay, let me just say something else. It's the thing is that I do know that God exists. I've thought about it quite a lot, read, read a lot of different things. I know that for sure. It's also why I read the Bible a little bit just uh, as a starter. But it's um, I don't have a good alternative. Um, uh, like completely um, uh, defined for myself. My friend, not there's myself, nothing, right? we are not talking about alternative now. We are talking about, are we going to follow something we are convinced it is wrong and false? No. Alternative is something different, you know, alternative, okay, I will find something different. Uh, but we will not just find something just to find something. If it's true, we will find something truthful, but we will not stay with something false just because I need to find alternative. So, do you denounce Muhammad to be a prophet of Allah? Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I can't just say it because I don't want to be a complete atheist. I don't well, who think said, who said you are going to be a complete atheist? As if you believe in God, you're not, you're not atheist. Atheist, somebody don't believe in God. So, you can denounce Islam now. And then you start your search journey. You believe in God in your heart. And then you will find what you are looking for. I'm not asking you to be a, somebody told you I'm an atheist. I'm not. No, no I know. I okay, so I did not ask you to become an atheist. I said to you, did you, do you denounce Muhammad as a prophet? <sighs> With the information that you give, I have to. Thank you very much. But I'm so happy for you. And as long now you are not a Muslim, you are an ex-Muslim, I'm so happy for you. Let me invite you to believe in the Messiah, our Lord and our Savior. I don't want you to be an atheist, and you should not be an atheist. So what do you think about the Messiah? 